So hi guys. So welcome back. So yon. Um, last time uh, I discussed about uh, directions, distance and displacement, and also nagintroduce nila ako sa inyo ng vector. So now I will be discussing about the resultant vector. So okay, let's start. Na. Yes, sir. Oh, yan. So, resultant vector is, if we're going to describe it, it is the uh, representation of two or more vector in a single vector. That's why it is called resultant. So, yung ating madaming vector dyan is na-represent by only one vector. And that is what we call the resultant vector. So, sige, wala na tayong ligoy. Puntahan na natin ang ating uh, example 1. So, for vector A, uh, from point O has a magnitude of 4 kilometers due east. And then, from the end point of vector A, vector B rise to north for 3 kilometers. Solve for the resultant vector. Okay, so, nag-start tayo dun sa A, which is in the origin. And then, nag-end tayo sa tip of point B. So, since nag-end tayo sa tip ng point B, we will get the resultant vector of those two uh, two vectors, vector A and vector B, which uh, we can form a right triangle. And since uh, nung nag-itsura ng triangle siya, we're missing, uh, uh, we're missing the hypotenuse. So by that, we can just easily get our resultant vector with the use of Pythagorean theorem. So makikita ninyo is r squared is equals to a squared plus b squared. And uh, we will result to the hypotenuse or our resultant vector as 5 kilometers. So, I hope na naging clear sa inyo yun. So, hindi naman siya masyadong mahirap yun nga lang talaga when we uh, reach to a certain spot or to a certain point na medyo complicated na. That's the time na magkakaroon kayo ng doubt kung paano nga bang gagawin natin dun. But before that, let me uh, teach you something. So, yan. So, every vectors, every vector natin or resultant vector, uh, we will be representing it uh, or we will draw it in a Cartesian plane. So, primarily, ginagamit ko lagi is the quadrant 1 of the of the Cartesian plane para may drawing dun. And the next is, if our, <clears throat> if our resultant vector uh, lands into this spot or like this, automatically, uh, this is what we call an angled vector, a resultant vector na nakaangulo. Since this is angled, meron siya automatically, meron siyang x and y component. So what is that x and y component? Since nagland siya between the x axis and the y axis, automatically yung resultant vector natin or a single vector natin is meron siyang x and y axis or x and y component. Okay, so for example, meron tayong angle between the resultant vector and the x-axis. Uh, and we're planning to get the x-component. We will be using the formula of, uh, of x is x-component is equivalent to cosine theta multiplied to the hypotenuse or our resultant vector. So kung naalala ninyo yung sa katawan natin, so napakadali lang. Sine theta is equivalent to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is equivalent to uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is equivalent to opposite over adjacent. So, ang ating point of reference dito is kung nasan yung ating angle or yung ating theta. So, if we're going to get the x component, it is cosine theta multiplied to the hypotenuse. And for the y component naman, it is sine theta uh, multiplied to the hypotenuse. If ang ating angle or yung ating theta is between our resultant vector and our x-axis. So, paano naman kapag halimbawa ang ating angle ay nandito dito? Between y-axis and our vector or our resultant vector. Same then, it's just y component will be uh, we will be using y component is equivalent to cosine theta multiplied to the hypotenuse and for the x-axis or for the x-component naman is it is multiplied, uh, it is equivalent to sine theta multiplied to the 
hypotenuse. Okay, I hope you get this one guys. Dahil ito yung ating fundamentals pagdating sa ating uh, pagkuha ng x and y component dito sa ating resultant vector. Okay, so for example, uh, we have we have a representation like this of a well, may gantong example tayo. So, para makuha natin yan is we will be uh, getting the x component of each vector. So, for the problem, para makita ninyo is uh, yeah, uh, so vector A has a magnitude of 3 kilometers per hour in the direction of 30 degrees north of east. When we say north of east, siya yung taas or siya yung norte ng ating east. Kaya yung ating point of reference is uh, north of east. Okay, so what's the difference sir ng east of north? So kapag sinabi mo siya ay... Uh, east ng ating north which is yung ating uh, angle reference ay nakadikit or with respect sa ating uh, north axis or yung ating y axis. Okay, I hope na nakuha ninyo. Marami kasi kaya tayo may encounter dyan. Uh, yung katulad nitong mamaya. Okay, so yung ating isa dito is yung uh, west of north. So, for now, ito muna tayo. So, we will get the uh, x and y axis of our of our uh, vector A 3 kilometers per hour in the direction of 30 degrees north of east then for vector B from the tip of A has a magnitude of 2.5 kilometers in the direction of 60 degrees west of north yan, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo pag uh, north of west ang ating angle ay nasa pagitan ng negative x-axis and ng ating vector b. Okay? So, I hope na naging clear yun. If you have questions, you may uh, address na rin siguro. Pero, it is, uh, this is for the part of lecturing series mo na natin. Okay? So, sige. So, yan. So, uh, meron tayo ditong instruction is, first the plot points in a Cartesian plane. After plotting the points, get the x and y component of points a and b. Since they are an angled points, they definitely have x and y components. Gaya nga ng pinaliwan ko sa inyo kanina, a while ago, that uh, every vector that is in uh, between x, x and y component, automatically they have uh, x and y component. Okay? So, yan. First is getting the point A, uh, for point A or vector A, getting the x component. We will be using the formula na binigay ko sa inyo kanina, x component is equivalent to 3, uh, it's, it is equivalent to cosine theta multiplied to the hypotenuse. Since yung ating hypotenuse dito sa point A or the angle or the vector A is uh, 3 kilometers, we will be, kung mapapansin ninyo, is yung ating x component, which is, I named it xA for our vector A. It is 3 multiplied to cosine 30, which will result to x is equal, equivalent to 2.6 kilometers. And for the y, same formula na binigay ko kanina, we will get the result of 1.5 kilometers per hour. The formula that we have, that we use is uh, y component is equivalent to sine theta multiplied, multiplied to the hypotenuse. Okay? And for b, vector b, we will be using the same method. But then, ang ating ginamit dito is yung formula kapag yung ating angle is nasa pagitan ng y-axis and ng ating vector. Okay? So, yan. We get the uh, results of our x and y component for vector b of 2.17 kilometers per hour and 1.5 kilometers per hour. Uh, x and y component respectively. Okay, so next thing is we have to summate, uh, we have to get the summation of both x and y component. Which will then result na, yung mapapansin ninyo is nasa magkaibang direction yung ating uh, vectors a and b for the x-axis. We're going to go back to our drawing. Yan. 
makikita ninyo na ang ating A is going to the east, towards east, and ang ating B is towards west. So, makikita ninyo na ating na-subtract from uh, 2.6, yung 2.17 natin, that's why we, have, we, we, we resulted to 0.3 kilometers per hour. And for the Y, since both of our vectors are going up or due north, ang nangyari sa atin is we we tend to uh, get the summation of those two for the 1.5 and the 1.25 or simply 2.75 kilometers per hour. The following values collected are the values of the x and y component in order to get those values. We simply get the summation of the x component and also the y component. After completing the x and the y component, we will proceed in solving for the resultant using Pythagorean theorem. So, hindi pa pala tapos. And the end point natin dito is meron na tayong x and meron na tayong y so that we can get our resultant vector. Okay? So, let's proceed. Yan! So, yun, from our origin to the tip of B, that is our resultant vector. And kung makikita ninyo, meron tayong x and y component dyan, which is yung nakuha natin kanina. 0.43 to the east and the other one is 2.75 due north. So, for that, yan, yung ating uh, y component and the x component. So, yan. And we get an angle of uh, before we get the angle of uh, the component na, the component or the vector we first get our resultant vector, which is r squared is equals to 0 0.43 squared plus 2.75 squared, which will then result to our resultant vector of 2.78. And so, how did we get, or how did we arrive for the 81 degrees north? By using, what, sino may, may naisip dyan? Okay, so, by using the Sokatawa. So, since meron tayong uh, cosine theta nakuha natin yan by using this arc cosine with the use of ano yung opposite natin uh, I mean the adjacent which is yung x 0 0.43 over 2.78 which is yun yung ating hypotenuse for that we will result to 81.1 uh, degrees due north of east. Yan. So, ganun lang pala. I hope, guys, na pakatulong na naman yun sa inyo. Medyo ma-advance na tayo and we're approaching to a more difficult part of physics. But then, this is just vector and I hope, guys, na nakatulong ako sa inyo kahit pa paano. So, yun guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and peace out. See you on my next tutorials. Bye guys.